From Marylebone, the Chiltern Main Line heads west through High Wycombe and the Chiltern Hills before joining the former Great Western Main Line from Oxford, some five miles south of Banbury. Our train then calls at Leamington Spa, Warwick Parkway and Solihull before terminating at Moore Street. We're now approaching our first stop, High Wycombe. Even today, Wycombe, as it's known locally, is an important source of custom for Chiltern Railways, the town having a population of 125,000, the second largest in Buckinghamshire after Milton Keynes. Up until 1970, this is where the former Wycombe Railway converged from the left. For over 50 years, it was the only railway to the town. The track layout and signalling has changed considerably since we were last here in 1989, when the two centre tracks were still in use. The station does retain a bay platform, however. This is used by the hourly semi-fast starters to Marylebone, an example of the selective calling pattern. The service is called only at Beaconsfield, Gerrard's Cross, South Ryslip and Wembley Stadium. Tysley, the aforementioned GWR line from Henley and Arden converges, adding a second pair of tracks to our formation. This was the very last traditional main line to be built in Britain. As we pass through Tysley station, we can catch a glimpse of the traditional style signs on the platform. BR had taken two of the four platforms out of use in the 1960s, but these were restored by Network Rail in 2008, when the line was re-signalled between Birmingham and Warwick. We now turn out at Tysey North Junction, taking a pair of crossovers at 60 miles an hour. The straight route is used by freight trains avoiding Birmingham city centre. A pair of tracks converges from Tysley Depot at Small Heath South Junction. The maintenance and locomotive building works were first established here in 1908. The original 1909 GWR terminus for local trains has been superbly restored to its 1930s style. <laughs> 